Open the doors and window tutorial drawing. Set a split view looking at the front of the garage and the front entranceway. From the Floor tab, click the Door tool. From Door Styles, choose the Garage Door. Enter a width of 18 feet and press Enter to accept the new value. Drag your cursor along the wall. In this case, when it says Midpoint, just release the mouse button to set the position of the door. Click the Door tool again, and you'll notice that it deselects that door. Now, we'll choose a custom door. And from the drop-down, we'll choose light for the style. And we'll choose this oval glass door. We'll change the width to 3 feet and press Enter. Drag along the wall, release, and then move the cursor to set the door swing and click to place. On the Properties tab, you can flip the swing direction and flip the side of the door that the hinges are on. You can also change the door swing angle. We've set it to 30 degrees and press the Enter key to accept the new value. You can also choose hardware while the door is selected. Just switch to the door hardware properties and select the hardware style that you'd like on the door. Now we'll change our view so that we're looking in towards the dining room. Click the Door tool. This time, we'll choose the cased opening and we'll just place in the wall. While it's selected, you can drag the handles to resize the door so you can resize the door manually with your mouse and cursor, as well as entering in a new value. Click the Door tool again. Now, from the Door Styles, we'll choose the French door, and we'll set the width for 6 feet. Don't forget to press Enter. Drag to place it, and set the swing direction. While it's selected, choose Double Door on the Properties tab to create double French doors leading outside. And we can adjust the swing here as well. Place the rest of the doors as you see in the plan displayed. Remember that you can go back and change the size of doors or the style of doors later at any point as you work. Now, let's place some windows. Set up your view so that you're looking at 2D and 3D side by side. From the Window tool, we'll choose Window Styles and choose this double hung window. Drag along the wall to place and just release. In Tool Options, you can change the width entering in a new value. You can also adjust the height of the window, and you can also adjust the elevation from the bottom of the window down to the ground. Don't forget to press Enter. And we'll place one more of these double-hung windows over in the garage. Drag along the wall and release to place. Next, we'll place some picture windows or fixed windows. You can change the number of grills or mullions. We'll place three, and then take a moment and place the rest of these windows around the plan. Your finished image should look like this. Windows have a unique property that allows you to easily add shutters to the window. We'll set our views so that we can see this window on the side of the garage and select the window. On the Properties tab, choose Shutters. Here, you can quickly add shutters to a window and then edit the properties to resize the shutter or change the style. We'll use the left-right layout, which positions the shutters on each side of the window. The single layout places the shutters over the window opening as if they are closed. 
When the left-right layout is selected, the left and right tabs are active. This is where you choose the shutter style you want on the left side and on the right side. And we'll flip the position so the hinges are on the inside. To remove a shutter, just click Remove. Now we'll place a single shutter, a roll-up style. Many style options are available. Sizing options let you automatically size the shutters or specify the width and height. You can also use the Auto Size button to detect the automatic size when entering values manually. Other properties, like the depth, affect the thickness of the shutters. The offset values control the position of the shutters. Here, we'll adjust the horizontal offset, and this moves them out a bit on the window trim. You can also look at elevation views like front, side, and back to get a straight-on view of how that side of the home will look. From the 3D View Tools, choose Elevation View. Click the tab for the front elevation view. Use the Zoom Tool or the wheel on the mouse and zoom in to the area around the front door. Using the left mouse button, click on the door to select it. Drag the door to the left, repositioning it on the wall. Now click the Window Tool. Choose the Casement Picture Window Style. Set the width of the window for one foot and the height for 6 foot 5 inches, and the trim 2 inches. And remember to press Enter to set the values. Click on the wall surface that the window is to be placed on, and drag the window into position. Release to place it. Switch back to a normal 3D viewing mode to verify the changes. Make changes as needed. Back in Elevation View, select the new window and adjust the elevation to 3 inches. 